Okay, uh, Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Uh, Shalom to the elect. All right, we just want to touch on the topic real quick. Uh, basically, uh, dealing with this whole scenario going on, everybody's losing their mind, you know, about this whole Powerball situation. You know, um, people want uh, people are looking to uh, get rich in a society where the dollar's about to collapse. You know, the whole Powerball, what is it, uh, rec at a record number today? Um, what is it, uh, one, $1. uh billion dollars, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, and, and, you know, people are losing their mind, trying to go crazy over a dollar that's about to collapse. You know, but it, uh, us being in this knowledge, being in this truth, we know that we're already rich through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Starting with this knowledge, first and foremost, you know, this knowledge that we have obtained through the spirit and grace of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. It's a lot good. And then, on top of that, you know, there was things that were... Uh, you know, promise unto us if we were to labor in this faith, you know, because the, the Most High, you know, He's just. So whatever, if once we labor in this truth, we endure for this truth, you know, then the Lord's going to reward us, man. You know, so, we, so we're not laboring in vain, all right? But as of right now, we're still already spiritually rich. Give me that, uh, Revelations 2 and 9. Yeah, can I say something real, real quick? Uh, Shalom, brothers, on, you know, the Apostle Ricard down here in uh, Baltimore. And uh, we have, as the brother said, we got representatives here from, I believe, the D.C. camp, Baltimore, Maryland. Well, GMS, Baltimore, D.C., and, of course, New York, all represented here tonight. All right. Uh, anyways, like the brother said, Yahweh Shai quoted the scripture, uh, labor not to be rich, right? There's scriptures on that. Yahweh Shai also talk about store up treasures in heaven yeah. where, 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 where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. So... We talking about this Powerball one. That's all one big. It's, it's called the Great White Hype. It's all bullshit. That shit is all rigged, man. Anyway, because the dollar bill, the American dollar bill is about to collapse anyway, and they gonna put in the chip. Which all you jokers out there, the scoffers, you made mockery about it. Just like two or three years ago, really like yeah, two just two or three years ago, you guys were mocking us hard about the chip. Primarily that big fucking. Overgrown female, she male balloon. Like three or four years ago, he made videos. He was, but she goes hard on us, balloonus. He made videos where he had a bag of potato chips, and, and he was eating the potato chip, and he had the potato chip on top of his on his hand. Look, 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 look to her. I got the chip. I took the chip, and he ate the potato chip. Right? <laughs> he was making fun of us, right, about the chip. But then I did a video, and brothers did videos, and we got in his ass. But then. Shortly after that, or maybe a little bit after that, he made videos pretty much contradicting himself where he said, oh, no, the chip, that's important. Yeah, the chip. Then he acknowledged that the chip was important, right? Palu acknowledged that the one that abuse is the chip. And that, well, the guys that you hang out with, HODC, you know, Gangster Ben and Barack and them guys, they teach, they teach that the, the mark of the beast is the chip. Your homeboys that you hold camp with sometimes and you hang out with, they say that deal, that the mark of the beast is the chip. GMS is right on that. But you made mockery, but just a few years earlier, you made mockery, but then Baloo, y'all saw the videos, So brothers, no, I'm not just making the shit up. You you acknowledge that, yeah, 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 the chip, that is the beast, the, the mark of the beast, that's important. Right? So you, so, so you guys are bugged out, you're gone. But we're in that time now, so now, when the time of the chip really come, a lot of you niggas are going to take that mark of the beast, that chip. But this whole money system is going to be done away with, man. So all you people that's all caught up in the money, like you got people like Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Money Mayweather. He got all that money, all them federal FRNs, them IOUs. All that ain't going to be worth shit, but that nigga Floyd Mayweather, he going to take the chip anyway. Okay, he probably already got the chip. Because what's going to happen when they collapse the money system, they're going to say, well, listen, you can keep your money. It's going to become credit and debits. You take the chip. You still got your money, but it's all on the chip. You understand? They're all black sold. Yo, man, all you people, all you women that's on Section 8 and welfare, you won't get the chip automatic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All you people that's in the military, all you state workers, federal workers, meaning that uh, being that we in Baltimore... Um, a lot of you people that live in this area, the Baltimore, 
uh, they call it uh, DMV. Yeah, they call it DC, Maryland, Virginia. <laughs> DC, Maryland. All you folks that live in the Baltimore, uh, Maryland, DC, even Delaware area, you that work for the federal government or the state. A lot of you people commute and you work in Washington D.C. District of Columbia. You gonna get the chip to keep your federal and state jobs, man? Cause you working for the beast. Yep. See? But go ahead, brother. Bring the scriptures out. Uh, Ezekiel seven and nineteen. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. And basically that's why they're going to take the chip, man, because their dollars want to collapse. They're going to cast their golds in the, in, into the streets, man. Because uh, little do people know, the average person doesn't know that the dollar is a, a, a scale of measurement that represents X amount of gold that you have in your hand. So basically what the scriptures is referring to is that basically your dollar bill, your pound, your yen, all, all uh, 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 global currency, all the currencies of the globe are going to be thrown thrown away, man. And then and people are going to do what? They're going to take the chip. Like the apostle was saying, man. That goes right into it. But again, going back to you, lot of, a lot of you people, you you know you you, you you're losing your wits. And it's, I'll read this again. It says, it said, they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their, fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. And that's you people stumbling block, man. Anybody out there that's laboring to be rich in this society, you know, that's their stumbling block because the Lord, I got that real quick. Um, let me get that real quick. One of y'all brothers, give me uh, Matthew 6 and 19, you know, because the Lord, like the apostle mentioned, he gave a commandment. He told us uh, how to conduct this society, what to labor for, you know, because all that, you know, getting money in society, you know, especially as the apostle said in this area, when you go down to PG County, which is Prince George's County, basically, basically the uh, suburbs of D.C. All those the well-to-do jakes with them homes. They got uh, uh, 5,000 square acres. Some of them got 7,000 square acres, 8,000 square acres, square feet of acres. I mean, not acres, square feet of uh, houses. You know, those are big-ass houses, man. Because why? They labor to be rich in the society, man. You got that? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Matthew 6 and 19. Lay, up, lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt. Yeah, where moth and rust doth corrupt because, again, the, uh, the society that we live in is on a decline, man. This is not somewhere where you would invest your money into. And it's crazy, too, because if you look at the foreign, look at foreigners and these foreign investments, people are not investing into uh, America. People are not uh, uh, investing into the stock of America because America does more importing than export. They're, they're, they're spending more money than they are making money. Everything is imported. So I look, man, going back to the 80s, when I was a, a kid, uh, made in China, made in Japan, made here, made there, man, you didn't say it was in this place. You people are stupid. All you dumb Edomites, man, so-called white people, uh, America, 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 you, you stand on the back of the other nations, really. Right. The other nations, these other heathen nations are holding America up, man. America's bankrupt. The infrastructure of America is done, man. they always working on the roads and the bridges, man. And it seems like they never get fixed. No, they right. don't. Uh, especially if you travel like, a lot like myself, and you driving, there's always some road work going on. Like, road work for 30 years. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Right. It's to justify the overinflated budgets of these fucking companies, man. And it's all bullshit. So that's why you people that trust in the economy of America are stupid. You so-called new tribes, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you might have a little bank account. You're stupid. And if you trust in the Powerball, well, me and this brother right here, Tyler Warrior, from the Baltimore camp, I'm talking earlier, and uh, we were sitting there earlier this afternoon talking, and we, we, we were joking and just, we said, yeah, the Powerball is so-and-so, whatever, million, billion, whatever. Yeah, said, you might hit the Powerball and have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Right? And then yeah, you said, be, you'd be so happy that you hit it, you know? You, yeah. you, you just pass away, man. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah, you repeat what you said, but you just, you just, you hit the, you find out that you hit the, the Powerball, 
and then all of a sudden you get real anxious, you know what I'm saying? And your body start tensing up, you know, you, you just <laughs> pass away. Yeah, anxiety attack. You know? Yeah, anxiety <laughs> comes from, you know, what the brother said, being anxious, man. You know? You, blood pressure might skyrocket, whatever the case is. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like the scripture said, it's going to be to your own, you're going to be a downfall because it's, because it's your own iniquity, man. You know? You got something? Yeah. yeah. This is Luke 12, verse 20. Yeah, this is Luke 12, verse 15. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consists not in the abundance of the things which he possesses. Ooh, stop. That, read that again, brother. Come on. This is Luke 12, verse 15. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's that life... Means, that means lusting after something that another man's have. Like, a lot of people look at this guy, I'm going to use him as, as an example. Floyd Money Mayweather, right? And shit like that. Or even Oscar De La Hoya. Like, a lot of them athletes, Michael Jordan. These athletes that you got, they got all kind of monies and riches. And they flaunt. They go on lifestyle. Well, there used to be a show back in the 80s with Robert Leach called Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Some of you younger folks out there may not remember that. Some of you folks, that's like in my age range. And some of the older people might, will remember this show. I don't know if y'all remember it. But y'all don't remember that, right? Okay, so these brothers are a little younger than me. I'm like in my early 40s. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, back in the 80s, that was real popular. You had this either might call Robin. The mid to late 80s, it was popular when I was like a teenager. Uh, Lifestyle, he, he was a British crap. Look it up on YouTube. It was called Lifestyle, but it was a popular show. The shit was super popular, like in the mid, going into the late 80s. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. It was a crack, an old Edomite from Britain called Robin Leach. And it was real popular back then. It was like a, one of the most popular television shows on TV. And uh, he talked with a British accent. It was an Edomite from Robin Leach, you old, old Brit. Lifestyles of the rich and famous with Robin Leach. And then each week, he would... Uh, uh, promote different rich people. Some of the people you knew, some of them you didn't even know about. He, each week he would go and he would do an interview with different rich, and it was predominantly Edomites. Every once in a while they might have a Jake, some rich Jake, but he wasn't really known, but they were just as a token. But it was primarily, it was mostly people that you never heard about. Large styles of the rich and famous with Robin Leach. I'm here on the, on, 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 on Sir So-and-So's yacht. On the French Riviera, and then there was a way of these so-called rich Edomites and people to flaunt their riches and shit like that, right? So the flaunt what they had, I had four yachts and this and that. So like, in other words, let's say that show was still on the air. Let's say Robert Leach came back and said, "I'm going to start the show again." Floyd Mayweather would definitely be on that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But anyway, well now, well they got the new versions of it. Uh, MTV Cribs. Right, 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 right. You know, or, uh, uh, MTV Cribs. That's like a new spinoff of that particular show. Right, right. Because that's what they you know. They go to these guys' houses and they show their crib. And they have, so Floyd, you know, somebody like Floyd Mayweather, right? He's over there. So you know, on the 24 sevens, he's, he's always showing up all the cars and what he got. You know, I, got I got this, I got the Maserati, I got, he got fleet, a fleet of cars. He don't even drive all them goddamn cars, man. Every so he might get to drive one or two or three of them. Right. But he just has it just to show off what he got. All right, brother? Come on. It says, For a man's life consists of not in the abundance of things which he possesses. The abundance of things which he possesses. Like Floyd Mayweather, he got all them riches and he's flaunting what he got. You know, all them niggas and not just Floyd, but that's a Floyd... I use Floyd because he, that nigga's always fun what he got. Right, right. He got the gold watch and the mod, the, the, the bravado and the whatever, man. And all the rest of you niggas, man. All the rest of you niggas, just like Floyd, that you got a couple of FRNs. Read on. It says, this is verse 16, And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful. That's right, he was a rich man because in the ancient world, your riches were possessed upon if you had cattle, or, or if you had uh, large farmlands, because that was money. If you produce, if you owned a lot of lands, and those lands were plenteous in growth, whether it be uh, uh, cattle, 
whether it be uh, crops. crops. Thank you. That was the word I was looking for. Crops. Okay, well, you had you you had so much land, and your crops were plenty of some new growing. You were very prosperous with crops, and you had people working for you and all that type of stuff. Whether it be cotton, whether it be wheat, whether it be fruits, vegetables, whatever it is, man. That's how America got great. These Edomites that owned slaves and had these crops and they had so much money and so much land that they were making so much money that they, they were able to buy slaves to work that land. Yeah. Oh, but I see, even uh, the women, you know, the, the, the daughters, the fathers would, you know, give their daughters and, and get money from off the person who they was giving it to, you know? Yeah. So the, that, that, that was a rich also for the fathers, you know? That's right. That's right, man. That's right. Exactly. You understand what we on, brother? It says, and he, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. That's a good scripture quote. Where you at again? This is uh, Luke 12, verse 17. It's a parable, right? Come. Of Yahweh Shai. We on. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. You know, he had a certain type of barn. But he said, well, look, I'm making so much money, man, that I'm going to tear these barns down and get bigger barns because next year the crop is going to be bigger than the other. See, he was thinking about next year because he knew the following year that the crop was going to be double what it was now. So, see, he was like, look, man, damn, I'm getting so paid. I know coming next year this time, man, I'm going to have double what I got now. So I'm going to need bigger barns, man. So you know what, man? Let me do that and tell you. So he you know, started construction on these new barns, man. Yeah. Bigger barns. Like you niggas today, y'all talk about you niggas so much right, money. Right. Like Floyd. Floyd ain't thinking about, Floyd Mayweather ain't thinking about, um, I might die tomorrow. Or how, no, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning. That nigga thinking about, well, yo, I'm going to retire. I might fight one more fight. Maybe like uh, 2016, I might fight on my last fight, and that's gonna be my biggest paid fight. I'm gonna probably get like one billion for that fight, and then after that, I'm gonna open up a promotion company, and then I'm gonna build, uh, I'm gonna build a 20 million dollar mansion in France. He might be, you know what I'm saying? That's the way that nigga's thinking. Like, yo, that's that's my plans. In 2017, I'm gonna uh, have my uh, promotion. I'm gonna have a. Uh, I'm gonna become a promoter. And uh, you know, that's the way that nigga's thinking. He's thinking about 2017. All you niggas, and not just these guys like right. Floyd. Right. Even you lower level niggas. You niggas that got little jobs. You bitches. <laughs> that got little jobs. You make a little bit of money. You thinking about oh, that little promotion? So next year this time, I'll probably be the supervisor, and then after that, I'll probably uh, 2018. By 2018, I should have like about quarter of a million in my bank account, and I, I'm gonna try to start my own business. And that's the way y'all thinking. Y'all thinking about you niggas are thinking about what you're gonna be doing in 2018, 2020. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, brother. I'm talking about you Negroes and you Latinos and you Native Americans. You Native Americans, you thinking about, uh, uh, yeah, uh, power next? Yeah, I know. Y'all be, okay, uh, uh, this spring, and you don't know you're going to make it to this spring. Y'all talking about, yeah, yeah, powwow season. Yeah, we're doing this powwow, and we're doing that powwow. And the next year, we got invited to a gathering of the nations powwow. How do you know you're going to make it to next year? How do you know you're going to be alive? Now, you might get that invite for your drum group to come to gathering of the nations for the... 2017. Yeah, 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 wow, 2017 will be a gathering of the nations. How do you know you're going to be alive? How do you know you're going to make it there alive? Well, on your, well, you might almost make it. Let's say we do stay here that long. You might almost make it. And then while you're driving out there, you might get into an accident or the plane might crash. How do you know, man? See, that's what the scripture's talking about, man. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Luke 12, verse 19. And I will say to my soul, soul. Thou has much goods laid up for many years. Talking to yourself. Yeah, see, I got, we pay you. I got money in the bank. And money's coming in, so we're going to be doing good. You th Like Nate, like Nate. Nah, I was waiting for that. <laughs> see, <laughs> 10 years from now, we're going to have this palatial school. Go ahead, brother. Keep reading. It says, And I will say to